During the early years of World War II, an entrepreneurial young company did something impossible. They built a 1,265-mile pipeline from the gas fields of South Texas to the aircraft factories of West Virginia. It was a remarkable feat of vision, persistence, engineering, construction, management, and PR. And they did it in only 11 months. Within a few years, the vision grew to include exploration and production, on land and offshore, and then refining and marketing. The three energy companies of Tenneco were literally built from nothing but an idea. Built from scratch, to use the parlance of the day. And they went on to become a dominant force. Tenneco Oil Processing and Marketing redefined how America bought its energy, while Tenneco Gas kept the product flowing from whatever far corner of the world exploration and production had recently discovered new reserves. From the Arctic to the equator, high mountains to ocean floor, free nation to dictatorship, Tenneco's quest for oil and gas knew no boundary, geographic, political, or otherwise. The unlikely demise of these three successful businesses in 1988, victims of a corporate strategy gone awry, was an equally unparalleled event. Built from scratch is the story of the rise and the fall of Tenneco, as told by some who were there.